Hey everyone, Tracy here of DustinandTracy.com and in today's video I wanted to show you a cool little website that we just started using recently that actually allows us to publish all of our content to up to 50 social networks in one hit. And this is, this is done automatically every time we upload content. So rather than the typical manual process, which, which we used to have to do, where we would upload a piece of content and then have to go manually share it on each of the different social media sites, this site actually allows you to use RSS automation in order for it to be syndicated to all of these sites automatically. So once you get this system and this site set up, you never have to worry about sharing that content manually again. So the site is called OnlyWire and you just get there by going to OnlyWire.com, which you can see up here. Once you're on this site, you actually can get a free trial. I believe it's either seven days free or you can share to a hundred social networks free. So whichever one comes first, that's what you get. And after that, it's $5 a month if you pay for the year in advance or $10 a month if you pay month to month. So it's a really great deal, uh, especially considering how much time you're going to save just by setting up this process. And right now, you know, social media is huge when it comes to ranking and it's huge when it comes to getting your content in front of people because the purpose of creating content is for people to see it. And so if you're not leveraging things like this, then chances are people might never find your content. So when you're on OnlyWire.com, you can, of course, go scroll down and, you know, learn more about it and what it does. As you can see, you can also track results, get insights for different pages that you incorporate into it, get analytics. They'll actually allow you to turn on tracking where when it creates links for you, it'll show you how many clicks you're getting. And it also can give you different statistics based on your fans. So, you know, when you get here, just scroll down and read, you know, what you want to read about it. And then all you have to do is click the big orange button that says try it free, get signed up, and it'll bring you to the back, to the back office. So what I'm going to do is log in on ours right now. And what I want to do in this video is just show you how to get it set up quickly so that you can start getting your content syndicated. And remember, when it comes to content syndication, it is so important that you're updating your content every day. So uh, whether it's you're promoting YouTube videos or a blog posts, you need to make sure that you're co consistently delivering that content if you actually want it to be syndicated because this works on a live basis. So every time you upload something, that's when it's going to get shared. And so once you're back here, the first thing that you want to do is you're going to want to start setting up your account. So what you can do is come down to settings and click on networks. And it's going to show you all of the different networks that you can add into OnlyWire. So at this point, you can see some on ours because we've already started setting it up. But what you're going to want to click on is add new. And then simply scroll down and activate any of these social networks where you want to share your, your content. And so when you click on them, they're going to expand. And if you already have an account on that site, all you would have to do is put your username, password, and a description for the account and click save, and you're good to go. If you don't have an account on that specific site, they give you the link for each site where you just click here. You go quickly set up your site, uh, put your, your info, your picture, whatever it is, you know, that you're, you want to put on your social media profiles and then just bring that login information right back to OnlyWire and fill it in. And it's literally just plug and play. This is probably the most time consuming part. Um, and this still probably didn't take us more than an hour to go through and make sure we had all of these things created. And so you can see some of the major social media sites on here, like Facebook, you can syndicate content to a Facebook page every day, to Facebook groups. Uh, they have Twitter on here to your Google Plus page. And like I said, any time that you update a piece of content or per create a new piece of content and upload it to the web, it's going to automatically share that on all of these sites for you once you have these accounts created and activated. So that is an incredibly powerful tool and almost a set it and forget it type tool, which is really awesome when you're building your business. It can save you a ton of time. So once you've gone through and added all the networks you want to add, as you can see, you're going to start to see them here. 
Um, you'll actually get messages like you can see here. We have a few that we need to correct the logins. That just simply means that um, they had an issue logging into those accounts. So we just have to go back and verify that we put in the right information and they'll always update you if you need to fix anything. So that's just a simple little fix that we need to do on ours. And um, once you have those set up, the next thing you wanna do is choose the feeds that you wanna promote. So if you're someone who's blogging, you're gonna to wanna to put your blog feed on here. If you're someone who is creating YouTube videos, you're gonna to wanna to put your YouTube feed on here. And to do that, all you need to do is come down to feeds and it's going to um, just simply have a button here that says add feed. And any feeds that you already have added will show here. So like I said, we update our blog and our YouTube channel the most often. So that's the content that we wanna promote and get traffic to. So that's what we added in ours. Um, to, for your YouTube feed, I'll actually show you what, what it looks like. I know sometimes YouTube might change the way that their feed is written. So, you, you know, at this time, this is, this is what works, this feed up here. But at the time you're watching this video, it might be a little bit different. So what you want to do is, if you see this URL up here, in between users and uploads, you're going to see this long code right here. This code is actually our user ID. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do, if you, you just wanna be able to plug your, your own uh, user ID into this feed, you would just simply take ours out and put your YouTube user ID in its place. And then um, obviously refresh that in a browser and make sure that yours shows like a feed. If you don't have any content on your YouTube channel, then it won't show anything yet. It'll probably just have this yellow box up here. But if you've been updating content on your YouTube channel, all these videos that you see on ours, this is videos that we up, update and upload all the time. These are the types of things that are now going to get shared across all of those social media sites for us. So um, the best thing to do is test it in Firefox or Internet Explorer. Google Chrome doesn't always work when it comes to showing feeds. So if you want to make sure that yours is working properly, just go ahead and paste your YouTube URL feed into one of those browsers and it should show like this. And then for blogs, almost every blog is set up the same way. So it would simply just be the name of your blog, front slash feed, front slash. And that's, that works for almost every blog. If for some reason yours doesn't, then you're probably just gonna have to Google around and uh, see what you can come up with, uh, however yours is set up. But if you have a blog that you're hosting, then domain name, front dot com, front slash, feed should be what shows yours. And again, always just test it before you start uh, syndicating that content. So once you have these feeds, like I said, you're just gonna come into OnlyWire. And what I'm gonna do is actually just temporarily delete ours and put it in again so you can see what it looks like when you do it. All you need to do is click add feed and you're going to paste it in Remove the extra space. And then what it's gonna do is pull up some options. So you can have it post to all of the networks that you've just added, which is what I recommend, or you can go ahead and choose networks. And what it's gonna do is pull up this button here and you can go through and decide which sites you want to share your blog content on. So anytime you post a blog post, where do you want that blog post to be shared on the internet? Then you click done. And then it actually allows you to backtrack a little bit up to 72 hours. So if you um, are just adding your feed for the first time and you want to, you want to share some content that you've created within the last 72 hours, 48, 24, or 12 hours, you can choose one of those options or you can simply just choose to only promote future posts that you create from that point forward. So I'm going to choose that and then I'm just going to click save feed. And then it will tell you up top that your feed was added successfully and you should see it here. Um, one other important thing that I think is useful is if you click on here at, on post, you can actually see that you can create live content 
as well. So if you click on bookmark, let's say that you're out and about on the internet and you find something interesting, like an interesting blog post, an article, a video, or maybe you want to promote someone in your team's content, you can actually use this bookmark post feature to share that content to your uh, social media platforms as well. And so this is really cool. Like if you're trying to do value, value based posts on any of your social media sites, or you just you want to share something interesting with your fan base, you would just put that URL in, give it a title, describe it however you would want to be sharing it, and then you can choose which networks you want to share it with. So if you didn't want to share it to all your networks, you would just deselect all and go through and click which networks you want to share it with, and then click done. And you can also schedule these posts, choosing the date and time, and I believe that you would able, you're would you then able to just schedule multiple posts to go out as well. So that's a really cool feature, another great time-saving feature. And I'm just going to go out of that since I don't have anything live to post right now. Status right here is a similar thing, except this is only going to post to sites that allow status updates. So when you click on the networks, you'll see things like your Facebook page, Twitter, LinkedIn, sites that just mainly focus on status-based type things. And so again, if say you wanted to share something, share a status update on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn at the same time, you could deselect these and choose those, click done, and then write whatever status it is that you want to share with your fan base. You can check the history of your post, which will basically tell you anything that has come through your feeds. Like these are, um, these are things that we have scheduled or that have been completed. So you can see right now we have 18 items scheduled because just in the past hour, Dustin actually uploaded a video onto our YouTube channel and automatically you can see it's already in OnlyWire. We didn't do anything. We didn't have to add it here. We didn't have to tell it to do anything. When he uploaded this video, it added it in here and now it's doing its job and going around and promoting it to all those social media sites for us. So again, just a really cool feature to have in your business. Uh, Livewire, this allows you to uh, see some of your accounts live. So if you wanna check on your fan page, it'll actually show you all of your most recent fan posts. So as you can see here, this was 44 seconds ago, Only Wire shared his video on our fan page. And this is, I'm seeing for the first time right here. So we didn't have to do anything. It's been shared for us. And we're now able to see if someone comes over and likes or comments or interacts on it, we can interact back with them straight from our OnlyWire back office. So that's a really cool feature. And you can do that with Google+. Plus. Again, it shared it for us right here. And Twitter. And you can see all the different people that you're following on Twitter, what you've shared. Um, and it just helps save some time when it comes to interacting with fans and having things all in one place. If you're someone who gets overwhelmed with keeping up with all your different social media accounts, this is seriously like one of the best sites that you can use to keep it all in one area. And finally, analytics, that's just things like you can see your Facebook insights, anything if you've shared bookmarks and Twitter reads. We haven't really gotten deep into that yet, but as you sh start to share more and more content, then your analytics will start to show up there. So as you can see, this is a really awesome software for automating your business and sharing with social media sites. If you wanna actually take it up a notch like we do and start getting some high authority to these things that you're sharing, a software that we just recently started incorporating into this OnlyWire program actually called Audience Builder Pro allows you to take all of those feeds that you've just created with OnlyWire and that are already set to automatically update for you. It takes all of those feeds and then leverages uh, authority blog, web 2.0 web links and social media links in order to give those posts and those statuses link juice, which is what helps you rank long-term in the search engines. So as you can see right here, it'll promote all those social media updates to get them 20 to 25 high authority blog and web 2.0 links and 20 to 25 social media links on a daily basis. So that is absolutely huge for helping you create some traffic 
some link juice, and just overall helping the search engine start to recognize and rank the content that you're creating. So if this is something that interests you and you want to take your OnlyWire adventure up a notch and really start you know, creating some noise on the internet, creating some buzz, I'm going to have a link right on here on this video. Click that link to learn more about Audience Builder Pro. Get signed up and we will be in touch with you to help you get that process started. If you found value in this video, please like, share, comment below, and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.